Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, it's going to be a match between Hero and Bisu here on Circuit Breakers. It's going to be an excellent, excellent PvZ because these are two of the best StarCraft players of all time. Bottom left-hand corner is the Yellow Zerg player. It is Hero. And in the top left-hand corner, it is the White Protoss player, Bisu, playing under his name only, Star. Again, Smurflist, once again, says that this is a Bisu versus Hero. Man, Hero is an incredible Zerg player. I think he's going to give Bisu all that he can handle. But Bisu is the best Protoss player of all time, according to most people. And I feel like he can handle it. I feel like he is up to handling Hero's challenge this day. Hero's a little bit younger. Bisu's a little bit older. So maybe Bisu's reactions are a little bit slower. But he has a lot of wisdom from playing a lot of Brood War in his career. Alright, so Overlord Scouting, the correct direction. No probe scouting here. Out of Bisu, that's fairly interesting. I kind of feel like he always probe scouts, but not this game? Maybe not this game. This is going to be a forge. Forge expand. And, oh, gateway. I'm a giant liar. Wow. He went gateway here against Hero, who is going pool first. I don't know about this, man. That is a blind gateway expand from Bisu, and he is probe scouting, but he's going the wrong way. This is the worst possible opening that Bisu could have done against what Hero's trying to do here. What Hero's trying to do is about a nine pool. He is not getting gas. He is not expanding. He is going to send up a huge bunch of lings. Six lings to be exact up here. There's going to be maybe a zealot possibly to stop their attack. And that is so annoying. So very annoying to deal with here. All right. Well, Drone trying to see if there's any proxy stuff around here, but no, Bisu doesn't even know where you exist at this point, so there's the expansion. About an 11 hatch there after the 9 pool, and there we go. One set of lings. Are you going to get any more than this? He really should. Overlord comes up and sees. This is literally all that is present, so extra lings would be pretty great, but nah, man, just the one set. It looks like he was just going for a safe build rather than an aggressive build. He wanted to be ready for a cannon rush or maybe some early proxy gateways out of Bisu, but that's not what's going on. And as a result, he's just going to drone up. He's going to wait for his expansion to finish here. And you'll notice no expansion from Bisu, as he has been a little bit worried about what he would find when he finally found the Zerg player. He does manage to go the right direction, though, because basically the Overlord did tell him where Hero lived. And yeah, Zealot coming on in. Another set of links, is, emergency set of links, is made to deal with this annoying Zealot. You just need four links. Four is not a big deal. With good micro, you don't even lose all that much. So we'll get his health bar up. He's going to sneak down this left side. He's going to be super duper annoying. Probably try to sneak himself behind these minerals or in between the mineral patches. And we not even see him in here because... Ooh, free shots though. Free shots are good. Yeah, look, the Lings aren't even trying to engage. They're like, it's cool. You do want to hang back there and see what we're doing. That's fine. You do that. You look at my drones as they harvest minerals. As long as you don't stab them, I'm actually fairly okay with it. Hey, look, a stab though. That's it. We'll punch you. We'll punch you in the face. Another Zealot shows up here. Some early Zealot pressure. Probe out at the front. Another Zealot coming down. This is kind of interesting. I'm actually liking this out of Bisu. The Zealot pressure before the expansion. Man, you cannot see anything with this minimap here, huh? Yeah, the positioning by Bisu is absolutely genius. Only two Lings are attacking down here. Only one, two up at the north. Zealot finally goes down. This guy's got three kills. Four kills. Five? We give him five Zergling kills. Another Zealot joins the party here. That guy gets wiped out. Zealot number three or four wanders down. Purposefully strides down. And might actually does get a drone kill. Not too shabby, my good Zealot friend. Does get a drone kill there. Back home, more Zealots in production. A Cybernetic Tour finally on the way, but... The early Zealot pressure from Bisu, pretty fantastic stuff. Finally getting a Forge and a Cannon back here in case there's a Link counterattack. And, of course, there's going to be one as Metabolic Boost is just about done. And recognizing if all you have are Zealots, they can chase Links around forever and not kill them. So the Overlords recognizing that a Cybernetic Score is super late means nothing can shoot up. This one Cannon can hit them, but the scouting information is complete. He knows exactly what's going on here from Bisu, the counterattack. Appears to be real right now out of Bisu. He's got a third base down while all that was going on. Fantastic job by him. Stargate on the way here, too. Going to be like, get those Corsairs that you always want in them, their PZs. 
and Ling's out front. They just kind of want map control. They're not really interested in anything else right now, strangely enough. But is that another hatch? Yep, macro hatch here at the front of the natural base. It's 37 to 25 total supply in favor of Bisu. He's on the two base play. He's pretty good on his probe count here. And he is starting to build just, again, zealots, man. He doesn't even want dragoons. He does not care about the overlords that are scouting his stuff at all. Uh, I mean, obviously, when the Stargate finishes, somebody could Corsair and kill them that way, but not worried about it until that point. Now, what the heck are we doing here down in Zergland? A Hydralisk Den, loving that. Some early Hydro Pressures could get a lot done against this. Uh, just show up with a bunch of Hydras with range. You can actually, without range, you can do pretty well just picking off these buildings and these Zealots, too. Especially with some links to buffer for them against the Zealots. We've seen that. We've seen that before quite a bit. So, maybe that's what we're looking at. A lot of saturation, man. I'm really, really enjoying just the mass drone play we are seeing at a hero. Ling just making sure no zealots get on out without them recognizing what's going on. Citadel of a Dune being warped in for Bisu. He's got that Corsair production as well as plus one air. So he's not going for singularity charge. His plan today is not actually Dragoons at all. Just going for zealots. Which indicates that you know what would be really good is Lurker Aspect. If you research Lurker Aspect here and there are no Dragoons and any Dragoons that are made don't have range, that'd be huge for a hero. Absolutely massive. All right, so I think the Hydra, some of them are going to stay behind for base defense because Corsairs are annoying and they will kill all of your overlords if you let them. But uh, look at these Lings. No, no, no. You're not petting us. You're not petting us with your Psyblade arms and hands and knowing stuff. The Ling run by might be a little bit possible here, but I'm pretty sure the Zealots are aware what's going on. And they would pull back to block that off if the Lings made any kind of a move like that. But it's non-stop Hydra production. For speed's done, as you can see that. Rum, 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 rum. Here they come. Zerglings and the Hydras. Man, Hydra Ling pretty great against Zealot. The Hydra damage is just huge. And with anything tanking for them, they're very good. Yeah, that's where you want to set up here. This is a perfect setup. Corsair flies right over the Hydras. Some free shots there. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Even without the range upgrade, they can go ahead and work away down on this gateway. Maybe take down the Forge 2, stop an upgrade or two. Liking that quite a bit. Corsair count is 3 down here to the south. There are some Hydras where any of the Overlords are. So yeah, protecting those quite nicely. Corsair is scouting around a bit. Where are, the, where are you going? Why would you head out here? Is there a Reaver or something? Storm's not done. Storm is on the way. The legs are not done, although they are also on the way. Is he worried about the Corsairs coming in and wrecking his day? Kind of feels like that's what he's worried about. Dark Templar is out. Oh, maybe it was a DT. Maybe it was a DT what was out. And then uh, did manage to chase them away there. But Overlord count is nice. He's going for speed for Overlords because he recognizes he'll need them versus the DT threat. Although that might just be the only one we see here. It's one that's produced three High Templar at a time getting started as, again, we do see Sonic Storm on the way too. And yeah, Corsair is trying to get some shots off on these Overlords, but the Hydra count is just so high they can't really get any kills, which is really nice. Lurker Aspect is on the way. Did I hear a drone die? I think I heard a drone get picked off there, but then the Dark Templar had to get out. Yeah, he's got two kills to his name. I think a Zergling and a drone right now. 80 to 65 overall supply. Bisu is looking good. Third base coming up for him. Defending with zealots and cannons for first eight or nine minutes of this match. How crazy is that? Absolutely bananas. It's another another hatchery on the way. That's a macro. Yep, macro hatch here at the third. No sign of a fourth for hero, which I feel like is a problem. He needs to be a base up on the Protoss. We'll see if he can get there or not. That's a lot of Hydralisks. And a lot of Hydra is pretty good against speed lots. Uh, but again, you really would prefer to have something tanking for them. In which case, Zerglings, sure. Do you have your Overlord speed yet? Overlord speed is almost done. This Dark Templar is just hanging out in the middle of the map and just wasting everything that comes wandering by. Hurrah, hurrah, or striding purposefully by. Depending on how you want to say that. Yeah, man, DT. Whomp, whomp, whomp. Corsairs do find some Overlords to kill without a perfect Hydra escort. There we go, picking one off. With that extra range, the upgrade that we've seen on the Hydralisks there back in Protoss Vel, it is pretty much just, he is getting Singularity Charge. He's worried about Lurkers, as Lurker Aspect is complete. Not that any Lurkers are actually in production right now, 
But they definitely could be, based on the Hydro Count that we're seeing right here. Honestly, some Lurkers setting up. I don't know if there's enough Storm to deal with, like, eight Lurkers or so. Just kind of set up right here, threatening the third base, threatening the natural base. The cannons are in great positions for detection. So it's not like you wouldn't have any detection for it. But there you go. Five Lurkers in production right now. Fourth base coming up at the six o'clock position. And working on transporting for Overlord. So Overlord drops might be something we see in this match, which could be pretty fun. Great storm. Oh my gosh, the storm. Beautiful, beautiful storm there. Hiders are dying. Storm in his own Zealots just a little bit there. No upgrades on the Hiders. Plus one attack is done for the Zealots. The Lurkers, some of them are burrowing. in. They're going to chase those Zealots away for sure. They do not want to engage with Lurkers at all. Observatory on the way, but it's not, I mean, it's not even done yet. So it's going to be a little bit of time before we see Observers out. Storm on that little bridge is such a great place to storm because the Zerg player has to go through there, which means you can storm it with pretty much impunity. But this is a lot of Hydras, man. Lurker, like right there, Burrow would be fine, friend. You could Burrow in if you're into that kind of thing. Zealots going for the counterattack. Hydra's going for the front door attack against Bisu. Hydra's taking off the Dragoon as soon as it pops out. Cannon's getting picked off. Zealots, great storm on the Lurkers, but getting hacked by these Lurkers that are outside of that storm range. Coming on up now that there's no detection available. Engagement in the middle of the map with charge, or rather speed lots all over these Hydra Lisks. Bisu's getting some damage done in the middle of the map here while taking quite a bit of damage at the front door of his natural too. Oh man, oh, gonna take down the robotics facility. There's an observer on the way, but I don't know if it's ever actually gonna show up. Probe's coming in to try to save it. Yes, observer does come out. Another one pops out here and it actually ends up getting saved. I think Hero might've overstayed his welcome there just a little bit, but he's just pumping mass hydralisk. Two kills on that. Zealot has got Lurkers on the way here, too. Lurker eggs. We can see those in the production tab. Fourth base is not quite saturated here for Hero. He's going to try to get something done right now. And I don't know if he can. That's a lot of High Templar. Uh, by that, I mean a couple. Is there really just the one here? That seems low. Maybe they are getting picked off by the Hydras in the previous attack. I was so busy focusing on the buildings. Maybe uh, I guess the Lurkers were doing some damage. And a couple of the Hydra, or a couple of the High Templar did try to turn themselves into an Archon and got killed too. So yeah, that's where a couple of them went. So yeah, at this stage, we're down in supply a little bit here as Hero, but I think he's okay with it. I'm going to go ahead and do some kind of Dropper Lord stuff. Yep. Dropper Lord, single Lurker shows up, gets a single kill. And then the Dragoons finish him off. They've got range. They have upgrades. You don't have to go for Singularity Charge immediately, says Bisu. is not even really that big of a deal. Plus two attack is done for all of those ground units. No attack upgrades and no armor upgrades at all for the Zerg. He's just now starting missile attacks, which I feel like is a problem. Bit of a problem for him. Yeah, you don't want to go... F Dragoons are really, really bad against Hydralisks. Like, really bad against Hydras. You don't want to engage directly with them at all. You want Storm, you want Zealots to help you with that. Lurker setting up Observer there too. Neither player really wants to engage in this location. Z Lurker gets one kill before he gets picked out of the ground by those Dragoons. Just trying to zone out the Zerg player a little bit by defending in both locations. Hero poking, prodding, trying to see if there's somewhere he can go. He's down 60 supply at 13 and a half minutes though. That is not good. Bisu's macro has been absolutely bananas in this game. 150 supply here at 13 minutes after dealing with that early aggression and the really non-economic opening too late on the expansion. Zealots getting stuff done and Zeta probes. Beautiful, beautiful recovery here from Bisu for sure. Hydra trying to get some stuff done. No, just outnumbered. I mean, outnumbered by the Zealots that are here, which is not good. Not what you want to see at all. Yeah, overlords with speed, they're really hard to kill all of the overlords. Your DTs can get stuff done. I know the Corsairs are trying to make that happen, but meh, not really going to work here. I don't think Hydras, again, every time they come up these little bridges, they are taking their lives into their own hands. Well, this is a good number of Zealots creeping on up. The rest of the units do manage to show up here with their Dragoons. I don't know. I don't know if this is enough Hydras. They're getting flanked by some Zealots on the backside there. Two Dragoons. Getting some serious hits on up. And yeah, that might just be it for the Zerg army. Not even going to do anything at all. The drop inside the main base is getting stormed all to oblivion right now. Some probes do have to get evacuated. Storming on the ramp is fantastic. And yeah, Bisu is handling this like an absolute boss. Hydra's back here. Two kills on that Hydra list. But overall, meh. 
It is double the supply right now from Bisu. He is just handling the frontal assault. He is handling the drop at his natural base too. He's bringing the probes back to work in the natural. Not many of them died during that attack. Not even all, really all that much storm during the attack up here. Most of it was saved for the attack of the natural base with the dropper lords. So yeah, I mean, Hero needs to kill like every High Templar here and maybe a bunch of the uh, Dragoons to win this game. Again, not saturating the fourth base. I feel like it's a mistake. There's a single, single Dark Templar. Is that the one Dark Templar that we've seen? Yeah, man, seven. Seven kills on that TT. He's the one that was built by Bisu in this entire game. And he is very pleased with himself. So is that plus one attack? Plus one attack is still not done. Still not done here. Bit of another Lurker drop. Are the cannons present? I mean, no. No. You're burrowing in range of cannons, you guys. Yeah, not going to happen. The defense at the fourth base that Bisu now has up and running. No big deal. Probe transfer there, too. Hero dancing about trying to make stuff happen here with his mass Hydra play, but the upgrades are not good enough. The storm is really fantastic. The Corsairs refuse to stay still long enough to actually make something happen uh, for Hero. Because generally, that is what, what we would see there, but anyway... Yeah, 135 to 86 supply. It is not good for our Zerg player at all. He's going for the drops again. So it'd be one heck of an engagement to win right now. It'd be massively important if he could do it. Storm on the Hydras, though. Uh-uh. Nope. Storm, Storm. Dropping on top of the Dragoons. More Storm. And that's just not enough. It is not enough Hydralisks to actually... Well, get out Observers, which is nice, I guess. But you don't have any Lurkers to protect anyway. So that might have been a bad little Focus Fire. 120 to 58 supply, making 12 Hydras at a time, which is good. It's fine, but you don't have enough. Here comes Bisu on the warpath from the south to the north. Drop Lords are empty, yes. And that's your good game. Hero taps out. Bisu is your winner in 17 minutes and two seconds. What a fantastically well-executed game from Bisu. Holy cow. That was one just impressive display. Again, not a macro opening, which was great for him because it was a pool first out of the Zerg hero. So the fact that he didn't go for like a Nexus first play or just a regular old gateway expand without making really too many zealots at all. He might have been in trouble, but he did make some zealots, did force some extra lings there out of hero. And then after that, just went into full macro mode. Got his third base up and never really bothered there. Got his drops uh, dro dropped on his natural base once. Handle that pretty well. I guess some Lurker drops. I'm not sure that even counts, to be honest with you, as an actual uh, Zerg attack. Because it didn't really do a whole lot. But yeah, man. Mass Hydra is just not going to cut it versus the Storm, versus the upgrades on the Dragoons. And plus three, by the way. Upgrade just absolutely destroying the Zerg. The Zerg had plus one attack. I don't know why that disappears and the Zerg player leaves. But uh, it was plus one attack for the Missile. But it's plus three attack for the Dragoons. The Zealots were hitting like absolute bosses with their plus three attack. Ugh. And then the High Templar, just, you know, enough energy, almost enough energy for another Storm here. Uh, that guy's got enough energy for two, if you want to stick around and catch those to your face. And these Hiders look like they were interested in doing that. But, yeah, you want some Plague, you want some Dark Swarm, you want something that is Defiler Tech, just Mass Hider is not going to cut it against Bisu. And it never has, I don't think, and I don't think it ever will. He's just too good. He's too good with the Storm. He's too good at the spells. Again, that's what separates the excellent and elite and legendary Brood War players from just the great ones is excellent use of spell casters. No spell casters from the Zerg. Tons of spells from the Protoss, and Bisu gets that win. That's just how it is. That is just how it is, ladies and gentlemen. So, GG to Bisu. Let's check out that final score, which I think is going to be pretty ugly for the Zerg. Overall, 123,000 points to 90,000 points in Bisu's favor there. Killed 200 Zerg units, only lost 90 of them. That is an excellent, excellent kill to loss ratio. From Bisu, sure, a bunch of Protoss buildings went down, which is a little bit annoying, but overall, man, it didn't really matter. And again, the gas mined here, more for the Zerg player. Minerals mined was fairly close, about 4,000 more here from the Protoss. And overall, 3,000 more resources spent on stuff for Bisu. But yeah, more gas mined. There's a lot of Hydralisk and a lot of Lurker, but this is the difference here. is the 200 to 90 ratio that Bisu managed to rack up in this game. So GG, GG to Bisu getting that victory. Absolutely dominant display. What else do we expect from this guy, though? Really? 
I need to find probably a more recent game. I believe this is 2016. I, I imagine I could find a more recent one between Hero and Bisu. Where Hero's maybe a couple years years older, a little bit more experienced, probably better with those spellcasters, and might be able to give Bisu a bit of a more run for his money. But not today. Today, he got completely outclassed. Bisu for the win. All right, that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.